Hello everyone and welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. We are in the castle uh, over next from our village. It seems like for now we are safe and I'm going to explore a little bit here. I'm in a private area. I'm, I'm ter terribly sorry. Let me just uh, uh, close that. Anyways, we have... Whoa, a headache of some kind there. That was weird. All right. Anyways, we're going to head on out. Looks like we need to grab some food, maybe rest a little bit. I don't know where we're going to do that. Hello, my liege. Okay. All right. So apparently there's a bakery up here, I think. Or what is this? This is like a whole bunch of areas. I have no clue what it is. This this my room? I don't think it's my room. I feel like this is the king's bedroom, and I shouldn't be in here. I'm hungry. All right. I'm really hungry. We reached a new level in speech by simply saying we're hungry, so that's always a good sign. Hello. My name is Uthridis. Okay, I don't, I don't know where my bed is. Actually, it looks like it's across the way there. So that's good to know. So we're gonna have to rest, I think, still. Ooh, you get like a little hand washing area. This is like a, a little chapel kind of built into the, the, the keep here, which is nice. All right. And over here, just more battlements and things. Yes, yes, I know. I'm very hungry. This is a private area. All right, let's let's go see if we can't find food. Can I talk to you and ask you where? Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, nope. Up. Oh, yep. Sorry. Terribly sorry. I need to grab food. Where do I get food? Let's let's head down into the yard. I think he was supposed to tell me how to eat. So. We'll talk to Sir Robert. You've done well, lad. I'm sorry for your loss. You're that lad from Scotland. You must be all done in. in heaven's name, Why don't you go to the kitchen and have a good meal? Sorrow is easier to bear on a full stomach. That sounds good. I heard about your Damn father. I'm hungry. Hey! I can't understand why he'd waste. Are you serious? Sir Divish has suffered his own share of woes. But he's a generous man and a good one. We'll take care of you until everything blows over. All right, so we're in the kitchens. Ah, oh, milady. Hello. I'm covered in blood still. Good lady Stephanie of Tomberg has graced us with her presence. My lady, I'm honored. So this is our brave young man. Welcome, lad. Bojana here will take care of you. No doubt you're tired and hungry. <laughs> Indeed. How could he not be, poor soul? After everything he's been through, he must be as hungry as a bear. Aren't you, young master? Here you are, then. Eat your fill. And a little wine to wash Just a nice in. little lady. Thank you, my lady. <clears throat> and her braids make me think of Princess Leia, but the opposite. When you're done, you can go and rest. Instead of buns, it's a donut. No, that won't do, Sir Robard. After all he's been through, he deserves a proper bed. Let him sleep in a lodge in the courtyard. Certainly, my lady. Young Henry here is overwhelmed by your generosity. Oh, yes, yes. Thank you, my lady. May God reward you for your kindness. Eat up now. You're in capable hands, so I'll leave you to it. Good night. Good night. Good night, ma'am. Ta-ta. When you've done, you can sleep in the bedchamber of the courtyard lodge. And don't forget to take off those filthy boots before getting into bed. Well, I'm glad you followed up and told me how to sleep. Thank ya. So we are in the kitchen. Apparently, we could probably cook. So we're gonna go ahead and, uh, oh, I picked it up. Just gonna pick up some bread rolls. Hey! Hey! Let me just, oh. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. So let's, let's get some food. And eat. There we go. 
Oh wow, okay, that's that didn't hardly do anything. So let's just we're we're just gonna eat eat all of this, it seems. Let me just you know. Oh yeah, great. Amazing. Yum. Yum. Oh, that was good. Now I'm tired. Boy, let me let me tell you, I have to have a good feeling oh, meal. My word. Uh, let me just oh, go to bed. It was a long uh, ride. I need to lie down before I split my face open from yawning. It looks like you're already kind of doing that, though. No, I think we have to go over here. Whoa! You fled from Scanners. Yes. Excuse How me. I'm on a horse. And I died once, but it's a long story. Is this me? Cool. Let's go ahead and, as as he said, go ahead and take off our boots because you know we're not we're not hooligan. There we go. Go ahead and sit and sleep. So sleeping is a good way to save, apparently. So we're gonna go ahead and sleep right until six in the morning. There we go. A little bit of a load later, and we should be waking up nice and rested. I'm not sleeping at all. Hey, I took my shoes off. I'm glad that stayed the same. Yes? It is I, Henry. Forgive the intrusion. I didn't wake you, boy. Did I? Uh, my lady... Uh, um... No, no, not at all. But what brings you here at this hour? I thought you could do with a little wine. Thoughtful. It's just what you need to help you sleep. My lady, um, thank you. You really shouldn't. You could have sent a servant. I was going to, but to tell you the truth, I couldn't sleep either. I thought of you while saying my prayers. How awful it must have been for you. I came to offer you solace, to let you know you're not alone. Thank you. It's so weird to have such raggedy clothes you next to her. You're welcome. Now, Henry, I know this is all very new and strange for you, but I want you to feel at home here. You're not to worry about anything except getting better. God knows you've been through a terrible ordeal. I know what it is to be left alone in the world. Although your loss is much greater. But with God's help, the pain will ease in time. And it can help to talk about it. If you feel like it. Are we going to have dialogue options here? Tell the story of the ring. You be right, my lady. I'll tell you what happened. It was terrible and unexpected. The day started just like any other. Father sent me into town on some errands. A fellow by the name of Kunish owed money to father, who sent me to collect it from him. Only Kunish had no intention of paying. It got a bit heated, as often happens when there's money involved. But Kunish still wouldn't cough up the coin. Father was too generous for his own good, letting even a scoundrel like that buy on credit. Oh. Ooh, success. When I'd done all the errands, I headed back home. I promised father I'd help him with his work, and I was looking forward to it. He was forging a sword for Sir Radzi. Father and I always chat in the forge. On that particular day, I asked him if he'd teach me swordsmanship. 
He said no. He said it's better for a man to keep his head on his shoulders than lose it over some pointless heroism. If only he'd known what fate had in store for us. Oh. Yeah, another success. Sigismund's horde was already on the horizon, ready to attack the town. Sigismund's cavalry was composed of humans. They're diabolical barbarians from the east, with no regard for the rules of warfare. Bloodthirsty cutthroats. The very fact Sigismund has them with him shows what a tyrant he is. Well, I don't know. And then death descended on Scalitz. There we Father go. Father told me to take shelter in the castle while he went to get mother. She was stranded in the town, surrounded by Sigismund's butchers. And then I saw him knocking down one human after another. I never saw him fight like that. But then the leader of Sigismund's raiding party, a knight in full armor, saw Father and charged at him. But then the leader of Sigismund's raiding party, a knight in full armor, saw Father and charged at him. He cut down my father. With All right, a double dialogue. And then he turned on my mother and he murdered her in cold blood. You poor boy. May the Lord have mercy on their souls. I ran to the castle like our neighbors to take cover, but I didn't make it. I had to find another way to save myself. The men on the battlements called down to me to flee to Talmberg and warn you. I was lucky I knew a concealed path around the castle. I didn't know of it. I was kind of told it was there. Uh, let's go with... I ran as if my life depended on it, which it did. But my guardian angel watched over me and I made it to the mill below the castle. It's as well you did. The Lord be praised. Nice. Then I heard a scream. It was Teresa, the mill wench. She'd been caught by a gang of human savages who planned to violate her. I don't remember seeing that. Uh, I couldn't. I to help her. God knows I wanted to. Even though I had the sword we made for Sir Radzik, they had me outnumbered and they were well armed too. I only just managed to grab one of their horses and ride off. I couldn't help her any more than I could have helped my parents. It wasn't your fault. Is that a I'll success? I think that's a neutral. It will haunt me for the rest of my life. You learned women in Middle Ages. That's Interesting. Terrible. How could something like that happen? God alone knows why he lets such things happen. Oh, you poor boy. I understand your grief, but God is not to blame for the ills of this world. That is the work of Satan and those who do his bidding. Those who are corrupted by greed, envy, and pride. You must not lose faith, whatever life brings. Fate has not been merciful to me. And my husband, either. Although in comparison to the horrors you went through. I was young when I married my husband. It was my father's wish. Divish was a lot older than I, but a woman must bear her lot. Shortly after our marriage, before I even got a look at Talmberg, the castle was stormed and my husband was imprisoned. Really? My husband had some quarrel with Sir Havel Medek of Valdek, who decided to resolve it by force. He stormed the castle, burned down the village of Probislavitz, and killed many of our men, even the old Chamberlain. He imprisoned my husband in the castle and put his own garrison there. That's awful. I was barely 18 years old and all of a sudden, I was left alone with Sir Robert. We didn't know what to do. We went to Prague to appeal to the king and sought help from Divish's friends, but all to no avail. We tried for years, but it seemed I was destined to be left alone and my husband to rot in jail in his own castle. Years, you say? Seven years. That's how long it took before Havel was condemned as an enemy of the crown. And even then, he refused to surrender the castle and release my husband. 
In the end, I raised the money to pay a ransom, and only then, by the grace of Lord Jesus, did I finally lay eyes on my husband once more. Seven years? And was Harbour punished for it? Never. And after seven years, my husband returned to me an infirm old man. Sir Dibish seems like a good, strong man. Well, certainly, only he has many concerns. He had to rebuild Talmberg. After he was released, the king appointed him Burgrave of Prague Castle, and he was very busy. He had no time for me at all. But at least we were in the city, and there was something going on. And now, we're here. My lady, you're still young and beautiful. Your best years are still ahead of you. Would that that were true, lad. Would it were true. But what am I doing bothering you with this? You have troubles enough of your own. I can't tell if this lady wants to elope or not. Like she does, but she feels like she can't. I enjoyed Odd. our little talk, Henry. Good night, and God bless. Good night, my lady. But I wouldn't want to wrong the person who kind of let me stay here and treated my wounds and kind of saved me. So I guess I'll just go to bed. That sounds like a plan. All oh, right, nightmares. Well, alrighty then. Henry, wake up. You don't want to miss this. What is it? What's happening? Come to the battlements. One of our patrols reported a company heading here from Scallops. But it's still dark outside. I was really tired. Let me put my boots on. Oh, wow, that's dark. Holding I or L? What is that? All right. Oh, let me just uh, come on out here. Oh, it's a, it's a true dark. I like that. I like that a lot. All right, up the battlements we go. Nice little brisk jog. Good lighting. Okay, maybe, maybe not where we need to go. I need to go on the, to the ceiling. Of the other side so we need to cut over here no up uh, through here all right then get down the hallway through this door across these and I guess up this where is the light all right must have tied just fired to my ass that's fine too Up we go. Good solid ladder animation. Grabs each rung, which is always nice. 
Okay, guys. Where am I even supposed to be going right now? Okay. Can I slide down? Oh, I can jump. That's good. Let's see, can I sprint down the ladder? Nope, just jumping is going to be the fastest, it seems. Alright, what's at the ground floor? Will that take me right by uh, the, the gate entrance? Okay, wow. A lot of floors in this tower. I'm surprised. I think it fit a lot in here. No door. Back up to the top. Oh my goodness. I am lost and confused. Come on, up we go. Up we go. Out this door. Uh, oh, whoa. Okay. Now I was seeing demons. All right, out this way. Head back down, 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 and over to the gate. Over here. Talk to these Would guards. What is going on? Sigismund, who else? That bastard conquered Scullet, so now he's come to take Talmberg. Okay. So we wouldn't have time to join forces. Prepare for the worst, but don't be daunted by their numbers. Heed my commands, and all will end well. Okay. Well, we might be dying. What is going, going on? on? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Why would Sigismund advance on Talmerg in the night? Especially since he's lost the element of surprise after the raid on Scalitz. Because he outnumbers you and doesn't care? Then who is it? The scouts Jewish sent to Scarlet's to spy on Sigismund, said he'd set up camp and was getting ready to storm the castle. And so Radzig is an experienced soldier. He'd surely hold the castle for quite some time. It doesn't make sense. What else did the spies see? Not much of anything. Before they could get close enough, this huge storm started. And you were right. Sigismund has a hell of a lot of soldiers, including all manner of mercenaries. An army like that costs a fortune. Well, anyway... We'll find out when they get here, won't we? Aye, we will. I'm still just covering in blood. Alright, what do we got? Are these guys refugees? They look like our colors. Who goes there? Lucifer and all his minions! Who else, Rubber? Sir Antic. What a relief. Is his lordship there with you? Yes, sir. He is right here. What are you doing up so late, Divish? At your age, you need a good night's sleep. <laughs> well, Rantic, you didn't exactly pick the best time for an outing either. In a big hurry? It was a bit of a scramble, all right. Believe it or not, this Tempest is a godsend for me and my men. As my old granddad used to say, better a sore throat than a slick throat. I'd say your grandfather was a wise man. Your Some of these scenes are very happen. cinematic. Messenger? The lad you sent to warn us. He's alive? He made it to you? He's here with me. He only got away by the skin of his teeth, though. Thank God. A brave young man. But tell me, friend, how on earth did you manage to get away? Thank God for this tempest. When it began, Sigismund's Tatars crawled into their holes and left the storm into the castle for more clement weather. We were able to sneak out right under their noses. The Lord be praised. We wouldn't have stood a chance against them. Would you like to spend the night in Tumber? No, no. When Sigismund finds the castle empty tomorrow, he might come looking for us. We'd only be exposing you to danger. Without me and my men, he has no call to attack you. Well, what will you do then? We'll march to Ratai. It's only a short way, and there we'll have a better chance of defense and enough room for all of these people. Yeah, they're a little cold. Better bend your knee, Divish. 
There's no point dying in a battle that's futile. You're right there. Is that boy still with you? I'm here, sir. You have courage, lad. That I can't deny. I am sorry about what happened. Would you care to join us? I'd like to, sir, but first I have to return to Scalitz. Are you mad? What do you want there? I can't leave my mother and father. I won't leave their corpses rotting in the street. I'll join you once I've taken care of them. Don't even think of going back there, you donkey. Are you tired of living? But sir! Quiet! I'm sorry about your father, but getting killed as well won't help him. Divish, make sure that lad doesn't budge from Talmberg until things quieten down. Not to worry, friend. Anyway, he's injured and needs to recover. I'll lock him up here as if he were Havel of Baldic. <laughs> I see you've grown a thick skin since your tribulation, sir. But thank you. We'll meet again when circumstances are more favorable. Farewell. Farewell, friend, and good fortune. Give my regards to Sir Hanish. I will, and good luck to you and your people, too. These are dark times. Well, I'm glad they were able to get out of the castle. It was a good strategy to leave under the cover of weather. Mad, the night is on triple patrol. Sort out the watches triple. between you as always. And if I catch anyone boozing, playing dice, or slacking off, I'll personally break every bone in his body. I want you to keep a close eye on everything nearby. Sigismund will surely have sent spies, and likely men as well, to follow the Scalitz people now he knows they've fled. Keep your eyes peeled, and report everything to me at once. Understood? Are you serious? Oh, relax. Henry, I need to have a word with you. Alright. What do you got? What is it you need? I could use an extra pair of eyes, and yours are keen. Will you keep watch on the battlements with my men? Is that a request or an order? I'd rather it was a request you answered yes to. Of course I'll help. I'll have to pay you back somehow after all you've done for me. Splendid. And don't worry. I'll tell the men to relieve you later. Alright, so we're on what is it? watch duty. What a beautiful day. Compelling footage for you two. Do -do. It would be so eerie if every lightning bolt you could see something out there. <laughs> it is the crappiest weather. Quest marker, so it seems like I'm just literally patrolling the battlements. My immersion is real. What's down there? Is that just a lonely guard? Looks like it. What? What the hell is he doing? I'm walking here. Black screen. Wandering around like a stray sheep. Must be your first watch, eh? Yes. I don't think anything much will be happening today. You can just lean against the wall and wait till morning. I'll show you what's what. I will. Thank you. Press T to say how long you want to wait and watch out, though. Tiredness and hunger grow even during skip time. Alright, let's wait three hours. Spinning the wheel of time. Quickly. 
Okay, okay. Hey, watch it. Yeah, yeah. All right. To the to the new battlements. Off we go. Just get y'all gone over there, I suppose. They're I mean they're blowing the horn. Good. Yes, thank you. Let's go, let's go. Move it. Quick. Go, go. All right, and down we go, and then out this way. I really like this keep layout. Are we about to bend the knee? Indeed, Robard. Sigismund of Luxembourg has a rare talent for winning people over to his cause. <laughs> Why didn't he just do this the first time? I don't think he will set his heathen dogs on us today. Greetings, Lord of Tomberg. <laughs> That's the bastard who let the attack of Scullis and kill my parents. An idiot! Do you want to end up like them? I am Sir Mark Bart von Aulitz. I come in the name of Sigismund of Luxembourg, King of Hungary and Croatia, who has resolved to strike against those who disrupt Concord in the land and to restore order in the name of his brother, King Wenceslaus IV. Restore order by burning and pillaging the king's estates. Greetings, Sir Mark Bart. Mark the efforts Bart, of yeah. the king's brother to bring order to this chaotic land are undoubtedly noble. It seems to me, though, that he and his army have somewhat strayed. As Burgrave of Prague Castle, I am entirely beholden to the king, and here in Townburg, divine peace reigned until your arrival. To what then do we owe the honor of your visit? Yesterday, His Majesty took action against the enemy of the kingdom, the Ratzik Kobila, who has been using the silver from the Skalitz mine to fund insurrection against the crown. Unfortunately, the insurgent escaped. Would you happen to know, noble sir, where he might be at this time? As far as I know, the Sir Ratzik of which you speak is the king's hetman at Skalitz. I find it hard to imagine that he would rebel against our king. Nevertheless, I can assure you that Sir Radzik is not at Talberg. He would be a fool indeed to flee from one castle, where he has little chance of defense, to another, where he has even less. Or do you take the view that my humble manner is any obstacle to your army? Am I to inform the king then hmm. that Zeratsi Kobila is not a Tarnberg and that he has your loyalty? Sir Radzig Kobila is not here, and I have no intentions of getting embroiled in affairs from which I have nothing to gain. Very well, sir. As you wish. I will relay your words to the king in the hope he will be as well disposed as you seem to be. Those who have clean consciences and good will may find themselves well disposed even at moments like this, when there is little cause for joy. Farewell, sir. Auf Wiedersehen. It took balls to basically tell him, just like, go away. I don't want to fight you, but and you can kill me, but just go away. Impressive.
My lord, you have my utmost admiration. Get on with you, Robard. I'll have my revenge yet, though, bold guy. I'll have my revenge yet. Arrow to the head you shall receive. Hey, watch it. I'll remember you. All right. Well... Hey. I guess that, I, I'll join you guys. I'll, ho I'll hop off the wall. Plenty of space. Is this a scarecrow? Looks like a scarecrow. I feel quite hungry. Yeah, I am quite hungry. I've been up on watch. I get pulled off to go see like someone I absolutely hate. What is it? Yeah, screw off. All right. And I think with that, we're going to go ahead for plot reasons in this Look episode here. Uh, next episode, it looks like we are going to go back and maybe see what we can do about recovering our family's bodies. If they if they even let us leave at this point. Well, we'll have to wait and see how that goes. Let's, uh, how do I turn off the torch again? I don't know. I'll just unequip it. I think that'll be effective. Anyways, if you guys are enjoying Kingdom Come Deliverance, do let me know in the comments down below. Subscribe for more creative goodness such as this. I'm actually intrigued to see how all this plays out. A lot of stuff is going on with this game. And it's very interesting to play something so linear. It's not usually uh, something I do. But uh, the beauty of it all is making this all worthwhile. So, I'm going to head over, grab some food. You guys do the same. And I'll see you in the next episode of Kingdom Come Deliverance.